Welcome to Random Radio. I'm your host, Steve Bolander, and thanks for listening in. So, I am setting the expectation for every week a, 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 an episode. Sorry, I'm very tired. It's like 10 o'clock tonight. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm setting the expectation to every other week because one because every week is not sustainable for me, I've realized. Um, and so I'm just going to try to put out relatively quality content uh, every other week. I'm going to try to do that, and I'm going to make that my deadline so that I don't go on another month where I just don't post. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's get on with the intro. <laughs> so for you new guys, every other week we discuss a random topic, and we just talk about it for another for like 10 to 20 minutes. Now, uh, before we begin, I'd just like to remind everybody that all the opinions shown on the show are just that, they're just opinions, and uh, you need not take offense. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So, uh, today, I wanted to talk about all of the good things that happen in our lives. So, for you, and you guys might remember, I made a video, um, literally, like, a bit under nine months ago, I think. It was, it was the third episode of this podcast, and it was all about all of the disappointments in life, right? And so today, I just decided, let's, you know what, let's just try doing a little bit of, you know, <laughs> a little bit of this, where I'm just explaining all the good things in life, just trying to take a positive note on things. Um, also, I want to note that uh, this is take two of this, <laughs> Because um, I literally recorded the entire episode not, like, 20 minutes ago. I, f I finished recording the episode, like, 15 minutes ago. And um, I and then uh, I go to pull it up on YouTube. It says, oh, it's uh, the file isn't readable. So then I'm like, okay, I'm just it's probably just a YouTube thing. So I go and open the file. Uh, it probably got corrupted. And so I'm like, okay, that's fine. I have the actual audio file, right? So I turn that into a video. And, and then I proceed to listen to it, right? Um, as it turns out, I actually, the, being the dumb dumb I am, I accidentally turned up the echo on this thing, uh, on my little thing, and I'm going to demonstrate that here. Uh, I think you can hear this a little bit. It's echoing, probably. Um, but anyway, I turned that all the way up, and so literally all you could hear was the faintest little buzzing, right? And so I had to scrap the whole thing, and here's take two for you. <laughs> uh, as usual, this episode is not uh, scripted, so that's fun. Um, anyway, good things, all the good things in life. So um, what I'd like to start off with is, and I actually ended with this on the first take, um, but I wanted to uh, just address um, the fact that we have a way to... Um, to communicate our ideas and our opinions um, almost seamlessly, right? With literally the click of a button, we can share our opinion to quite literally the entire world. Tell me if that's not uh, absolutely amazing and insane, right? Isn't that just crazy and amazing? I, I think so, at least. I think that that's great, personally. Uh, now, like yeah, it has its it has its drawbacks, but if it's used correctly, it's the most amazing thing on the planet. Tell I'll tell you that much. I would this podcast wouldn't be a thing if it weren't a thing, right? Um, but anyway, uh, next thing, um, school, public education. So, um, and I'm not reading this off a list or anything. I'm just remembering what I said earlier. Well, earlier, um, you know. <laughs> um, so public education, uh, something that. Every middle school student and high school student, you and especially elementary school students, just kind of take for granted, just like, oh yeah, we are required by the government to go to school. We hate that, <laughs> right? But what we don't realize is uh, is the fact that um, in in the U.S. we have the opportunity to get a fully fledged education, right, with everything that we need to know for life and more. Along that usually has to do with stuff that we want to learn, right? Like, yeah, if you're not going to be a history major, you probably don't want to take U.S. history twice, right? Cool. I, you know, though, now you know. Now you know the information, right? Now you know the information, and it's just a fun fact, just cocktail knowledge, you know? Um, but anyway, 
Um, I also have great respect for all the teachers that, that have to deal with us middle school and high school students, right? I'm personally in high school, and I think that the teachers care a lot more in high school than they do previous years. But um, anyway, huge respect for those teachers because they have to deal with us. Like, they get paid next to minimum wage and they have to deal with us. I, I feel so bad for them. And, you know, yeah, just like... I don't even know. I feel so bad for them. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I feel so, so bad for them, but I don't know. I, I'm very happy that we have this opportunity. Also, for the fact that uh, we as students don't have to pay for it, right? And for like parents, and yeah, you have, and for general adults, yeah, you have to pay it for through taxes, but like then it's split up through the entire community and not just the minority who can actually afford to go to school, right? Nowadays, then it's guaranteed every child or most every child can get or has the opportunity to get a fully fledged education up to high school level right that's almost a guarantee right and that's a guarantee for most people the vast majority but yeah i i think that that's just an amazing thing that we can that we live with now which i mean like some people i know plenty of people who don't like school but like i've personally always really liked school <laughs> Um, not because it's necessarily fun or anything, but just because it's like, hey, I have the opportunity, right? I have the opportunity, so I'm just going to take it, right? And if I don't like it, well, too bad for me. I have to go to school anyway. Government is requiring me to go to school, so, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, next topic. So, we always hear about all of the, like, crazy, greedy, like, senators, um, members of the House of Representatives or like like sports players and sports coaches and stuff like that or like big business owners, right? And we're just like, oh man, they're so greedy. They're not putting it back into the community or anything. They're just being terrible people, right? Um, well, I have, some, I have an interesting thing for you. Um, so lately I've been watching a YouTuber and I'm going to link two of his channels. He's got like six of them. Um, but he, I'm going to link two of his channels in the description of this video because he is amazing, okay? And I, I mean every word I say about that, about him, right? He's amazing. He, uh, he's, in, in my estimate, I haven't done too much research, but I actually haven't done any research, but um, my estimate is that he's put in somewhere around $100,000 or $100 million, rather, into pure charity, right? And he's taken so much initiative on projects like um, Team Seas, if you've ever heard of that one. They basically go clean up all the beaches and all the oceans. They're, that's their goal, right? Um, and um, he's also helped commu uh, his community. Sorry, my mind's going a little blank. Um, he's helped out his communities. He's helped out the communities around him. He even actually, well, I'm not going to leave that. I'll just let you go find his channel <laughs> or i'll let you go uh click the link in the description of this video um but anyway or well it by the way the bottom channel that's going to be in that's going to be posted in this video is um is basically his pure like charity channel right his other channel is more so like individual giveaway stuff and more sketches like sketches but you know it's it's fun and and you know what? He's one of the few people that I've seen that like doesn't spend all this money on himself, right? Like I'm sure he's got a nice car because that's something he cares about, but he has openly stated that he doesn't own a mansion. He doesn't own like any of that stuff, right? He and he puts like 99% of what he makes in YouTube and or whatever he's however he's getting all his money back into YouTube and back into the community that he lives in, right? He's, he's just an amazing guy, and I, I, I'm going to link him, <laughs> because I, I feel like he, he deserves this, honestly. He's such an amazing person. Um, anyway, let's let's move on. We're almost to the 10-minute mark, and the last and first take took like 16 minutes. I might make this, this one a little shorter, but anyway. Anyway, <laughs> um, another thing that I just think that we take for granted is, the, um, is uh, transportation. Right? Not even necessarily public transportation, but like just general transportation, okay? Like imagine this, okay? 
you're in like the 17 1600s right and the best way that you the fastest way that you can get from um uh from one let's just go by state to another or even one city to another is by horseback and it goes and it takes about a day to get from one city to the next right now let's say that you have family that moved all the way like like a like a month's walk, uh, walk right or which would let's say like um i'm trying to make a good equivalent about this okay um from like uh, montana to texas okay let's say that it's about that distance that's like a month's walk right or a month's trip which is insane, or at least a few weeks for, for pure travel time. And then you want to stay there for at least a month, which means you probably need to find another source of income and food and everything for that month that you're going to be staying. And then you have to make the whole trek back home and hope all your stuff didn't get burned to the ground, right? Um, well, I'm personally, then I, I'm just thinking just how lucky we are that we can drive from like Montana to Texas in like i don't even know like 10 to 15 hours i'm probably over or underestimating about that but or or we have another option we can fly somewhere right um I, like i think uh going from maine to um uh to the uk i think that that's like a 15 hour flight 16 hour flight right and that is insane for crossing an entire ocean uh nearly um 100 safely I, I don't know. I, that's just one thing that I feel like we should be very grateful for is the fact that we have very fast transportation and basically everybody has it, right? Every, basically everybody has ac at least access to it, right? If you don't have your own car or don't have your own plane, there's public transportation for that, right? They've made airports, they've made bus, bus stations, bus stops, they've made train stations, they've made subways, they've made all sorts of amazing things right that just help us get from one place to another faster and i think that that's absolutely insane and i i don't know i i feel like that's one thing that we should definitely be grateful for um another uh another thing is i and i think that this is going to be my last thing is family okay family is definitely one thing that we definitely all take for granted at least at some point in our lives we all do it um but honestly like our families they support us for the most part they they um and i don't mean that out of like personal experience but i they, but i i know plenty of people who think that um but i mean you know the negative parts then i have friends who know that but yeah yeah you know what you know what i mean um but anyway um sorry my mind keeps going blank today it's all it's a bit past 10 o'clock I usually try to get to bed around 8.30 or 9, so, you know, <laughs> and it's, and it's a night I should probably be posting it, so, you know, I might just post it tomorrow morning, actually, no, I'm going to post it tonight, or I'm going to schedule it to post tomorrow morning, you know, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, I'll probably just post it tonight, anyway, along, I'm done with my rambling, um, uh, along with the family aspect, parents, specifically, honestly, like, they do so much for their kids, right? At least the, the vast majority of parents do. And I know that my parents do. They do their best for their kids. They, they work full-time jobs, if not multiple full-time jobs to support their families and their kids, right? I, I don't know. That's one thing that us kids should definitely be a lot more grateful for than we are. And me saying that, I know that I'm not gonna stick to uh, anything I say, but, um, <laughs> You know, I, I'm gonna try my best. We'll we'll see. Um, but yeah, parents parents do so much for us. Honestly, they put food on our plate when we've when we've been the biggest just idiot that you could ever know. Um, they give us school clothes for basically free on our part, right? Um, they give, <laughs> you know, they take us places right they take us out to eat sometimes they they take us to and from school if it's too far away um they heck heck i'm sure my parents are definitely going to help my sister get her first vehicle right like 
you know, parents do so much for us that we just, A, we don't really know about, and B, we just don't really think about, right? But honestly, this episode is partially to you parents. Thank you guys so much for everything you do. Like, you have no idea how much this means to me and to everybody else, right? Like, just keep doing the good work, <laughs> at least until we graduate high school, and then you can kick us out. But, um, but yeah, th those are just a few things that I thought were definitely just, you know, things that we, that are good in our lives that we don't really notice, right? And I'm not even going to talk about household amenities like, um, an oven, a microwave, track, the trash system, um, uh, sewage, plumbing, heating, cooling, all that stuff. I'm not even going to talk about that because I feel like that's kind of a given, but also, like, I'm going to spend the next hour here if, you know, I'm going to spend the next hour here if I don't, so, or if I do. So I'm just going to leave it at, there are so many things that we are so, that we should, like, should be so grateful for. No, I, I know we'll always take for granted, but anyway, that's that's basically everything I had to say. Um, by the way, in the comments of this video, if you want to, just list a couple things that you're that uh, you're grateful for that you don't usually think about, right? Like I know everybody will, everybody's probably gonna end up saying like, oh yeah, I'm I'm grateful for my family, but like I, I'm I'm not saying don't list that, but list other things too. List things that like um, that you don't really think about that often right try it just try it just try it if you if you want to if not you don't have to but in the comments of this video i'd love to see that just a few things that you guys are all grateful for um but with that this is where I, i'm cutting the video at literally 16 minutes or 16 almost 17 minutes anyway <laughs> uh i hope you guys have a good rest of your day night whatever whenever you're watching this or listening to this um yeah, have a good have a good time. Remember to be grateful for things because it means a lot to people. Um, yeah, uh, that's me. That's I'm David Bolander, and this was Random Radio signing.